Hey guys, welcome to Oxman Garage. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. So in today's video, I'm going to be removing the dash from S550 Mustang. So that's going to cover the 2015 to 2023 Mustangs. So that's the trims are going to be the, the EcoBoost and Bass, the GT, the GT350, the GT500, the Bullet, and the Mach 1. So why are you removing your dash? So the two things that come to mind are, one, the airbags deployed, uh, especially on the passenger side, and on top of the S550 dash, that whole area is now damaged and you would most likely need to just replace the, the whole dash assembly. The other reason is the HVAC unit. So inside this HVAC unit, you have the blower motor, which is down here which you would need to remove the dash. You can replace the blower motor while it's still on. It's right underneath the glove box. But the two things that are inside this HVAC unit that you would have to take the dash off is to get to the AC evaporator core, which is inside here, and also the heater core. So if you did a test or you diagnosed that your heater core or the AC evaporator core is damaged, you will have to remove your dash and to get to this HVAC uh, unit that's behind the dash. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna disconnect the battery at the negative post. Anytime you're working on electrical connections, it's just good practice to disconnect the battery. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove the center console from the car. And your first step is to remove this panel right here. There's gonna be five clips that you're gonna to wanna to pry on and make sure you're using some kind of plastic prying tool. You just want to get behind there and pry it off. All right, so once you pull this panel off, you're going to have two seven millimeter bolts on either side. You want to remove both of those. So right above that main panel, you're going to have another panel right here, and you're going to need to disconnect that right here as well on both sides. All right, so obviously you guys are going to have your shifter right here. Um, and you're going to have all your radio and your trim pieces, but this is a, uh, a parts car that I'm taking apart. But uh, the next step is there's going to be a little trim piece right here, and there's going to be two 7 millimeter bolts right here that you're going to have to remove next. All right, so your next step is we want to remove the shifter trim down here. There's going to be five clips. You want to pry it up and bring the whole thing up. If you have the automatic shifter, you want to bring that leather up and there's going to be two screws directly behind the shifter and the whole assembly is going to come off. All right, so next you want to remove the two bolts that are in the center console cubby. You want to open the, the cubby door and underneath the rubber mat you'll see two bolts. Those are eight millimeter. You want to remove those. All right, so next we want to remove this top trim part of the center console so again you have a series of clips that run down this whole thing and you just want to use your plastic prying tool and get those clips up all right so when you take this top trim piece off there's going to be two connections one is going to be for the lighting if you have that option and the second one is for the uh the, the live link for the fob key all right, so there's gonna be a trim piece right here that you wanna pull up, and then there's gonna be two eight millimeter bolts on either side right here that you're gonna to have to remove. All right, so next you wanna disconnect the uh, parking brake boot, two seven millimeter bolts right here, and you just wanna take this and move it out of the way. If you have the USB connections back here, you wanna disconnect all these connections that are back here. And there will be a connection right here as well. So anything that's connected to the center console, you want to remove those. All right, so now you want to remove the center console. And these little tabs on the side, be careful not to scratch anything. Just lift up, take it out. All right, so now that we removed the center console, we want to remove the steering wheel. So if you want to watch this video right here in the corner of the screen, this is going to show you how to remove the digital dash or the analog dash 
But in that process, it's going to show you first how to remove the airbag and how to remove the steering wheel. So watch that video and come back to this spot. So after you watched that video, go ahead and watch this video in the corner of the screen. This is going to show you how to remove all of the trim pieces that are going around the dash in the front here. Whether you have the AC heater vents or you have the performance pack gauges in the center right there. This is going to allow you to remove all the dash pieces and the radio. You can leave those pieces in, but if you're working by yourself, it's just going to take some weight off of the dash as you remove it because you also don't want the screen or the gauge to smack into anything while you're trying to take this out. All right, so next we want to take off this sill panel that's right here. I don't have it on right now, but it's going to be like three tabs. You want to pop that up. Next is going to be the kick panel right here. You want to pull that off. It's going to be two tabs right here. And then next is this uh, side view mirror heater trim. You want to pull that off and it's going to be three, I'm sorry, four tabs on this side. So you want to do that on both the driver and the passenger side. So for the driver's side uh, kick panel, you want to remove the hood release lever. So there's going to be a little circular cover right here. You just want to pry that off. All right, so once you got that little cover off, in order to get this off, there's going to be two little tabs in here. If you want to grab a 10 millimeter socket and just shove that in there, you're going to release those two tabs and the lever is going to come right off. All right, so now we're going to have to remove some bulkhead bolts that attach the dash to the car. So there are going to be two, four, six, seven silver bolts that are attaching to the dash to the bulkhead of the car. So you got two right here on the driver's side, and then you're going to have two right here on the driver's side center console slash dash area and then we're going to come around and then on the other side you're going to have two right there on the other side of the radio and then you're going to have one down here on the passenger side and there isn't one up there so once you remove those and these are all 13 millimeter bolts on either side of the door you're going to have a bolt right here. This is a 10 millimeter. This is kind of a long bolt. It goes right through the A post of the car and connects right to the dash and the bulkhead. And then right up here towards the top, on the top of the door, and you got to open your door all the way. This is a 13 millimeter bolt right here. And this is on the passenger side. And then when you go to the driver's side, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, so you're going to have that 10 millimeter bolt right there. And then you're going to have that 13 millimeter bolt right there. So you want to open your door all the way and get a socket, 13 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and then get a ratchet wrench there. And you want to get all those out. All right, so these side bolts, they're not gonna come out even with the door all the way open. But if you bring them out far enough, you'll be able to remove the dash. And that's gonna be for both sides. So just loosen them, bring them all the way out, make sure the door is all the way open, and then bring the bolts all the way forward. All right, so next we need to remove the cowl. So if you need to remove your hood, to have easier access, go ahead and do that. 
And then we need to remove the windshield wipers. So once you remove your windshield wipers, you have a series of clips that are holding the cowl onto the back of the engine bay. So once we remove those clips, you then want to remove your cowl. And it's not gonna be that easy. So next we wanna get to these two bolts back here. See these two guys? That's a 13 millimeter. In order to get to those easily, you have to remove the wiper motor assembly. So it's gonna be three eight millimeter bolts right there. So three eight millimeter bolts and then this whole thing is gonna come off. And then you're gonna be able to access those two 13 millimeter bulkhead bolts. All right, so next I'm gonna be removing the steering column. And technically you could leave this on if you want to, you just have to remove the steering shaft Torx nut right here, which is a 14 Torx bit. And if you remove that, you can technically remove the whole dash off, but it's gonna be a lot easier because you're gonna take some weight off the dash when you pull it out. and and that way in reinstalling it is a lot easier instead of trying to put the dash uh, put the dash on with a column attached. So to remove the steering column, it's one and then two. And then underneath, you'll see it, see it right there. And then over here, you'll see it right there. And just a correction, those two bottom bolts, there's a 13 millimeter and the top ones are a 10 millimeter. Next, you should remove this plate right here. I'll just make it a little bit easier to get off. It's two 10 millimeter bolts. And it's connected by a little clip. Okay, so you wanna disconnect this passenger side A-pillar connection right here. And then same thing for the driver's side. All right, so on the driver's side, you'll see there's a harness right here that's kind of holding the, the dash back. So we need to disconnect it. So if you can see right here on this module, you can disconnect this connector right here. And then it's being held in by one of those rivet clips. You wanna get that off. All right, so once you got that harness off over here, you'll notice the dash is gonna pull a lot forward. And then you're gonna have all that room in the back there. All right, so for the passenger side, you're gonna have this harness that comes down here, and then it's plugged into this blue connection. And then if you can see right here, there's gonna be two connectors going to the fuse box. I'm going to disconnect these two. All right, so now we have another connection. It's this one with the big blue arm right here. 
you want to disconnect this right here. And then it's, connect, it's attached to a clip, so you want to separate it. All right, so we're almost done. I think this is the last connection right here. So it kind of comes back here, right here. So you just want to disconnect this one. So the bottom of the radio here, the, there's a harness that comes out right here, and this goes to the center console. So there's some connections here that you need to disconnect. All right guys, so now that we have the dash off, we now have access to the HVAC unit. So this is where the heater core and the AC evaporator core is located. So if one of those failed, you now have access right here. So this is gonna wrap up this video. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, I'll answer them the best that I can. So this is Josh with Oxman Garage.